Hey, what's up, guys? MGH here. Welcome to my first ever squad battle series on FIFA 18. This is really exciting. This was the new game mode that I've been really excited to play. I finally have the game on PS4, and we are going to be starting squad battle today. Right now, it's Monday. I'm hoping to get this episode up today, and I believe it's the new cycle. The, the rewards came out for last week's squad battles yesterday, I believe, or this morning at least. So I've kind of come at a, a brilliant time here. Um, the market on console is so much better as well. As you know, I'm playing my Arsenal career mode on PC because I got the early access. Um, but I'm going on PS4 for this series purely because the market and, you know, Ultimate Team in general is better on console, I would say. Um, now, you'll notice as well, up in the top left corner, I've got almost 11,000 coins. That is because of the web app. I was able to trade players and I did it for a little bit, got 10,000 coins and thought I will stop there. And also just logging in every day on the web app gave me some coins every now and again and a few packs. I've also got 12,000 FIFA points and actually that came with the game for me. So EA and PlayStation UK sent me out a little care package. So again, thank you to them. And it actually came with 12,000 FIFA points. So I'm going to be using that today in this episode. So um, if I show you my squad, it is completely blank. I'm not sure what form formation I'm going to go with. I'm thinking because last year the 4-3-2-1 was really good, I might try that first. But there is quite a few formations that I know could be good. It might even I, I might even go with a 3 at the back formation. I, I haven't 100% decided yet. But the plan is not to buy my team on the market. I'm going to spend my 12,000 FIFA points and whoever I get in those packs, they are going into my first ever squad battles team. Um, and I haven't decided what league it's going to be. It's going to be completely random based off who I get in my packs. Maybe I can get some one-to-watch players. Um, as you know, I'm not much of an Ultimate Team player, so I really am kind of starting from scratch this year and learning the game mode. One thing I want to do as well in this series is daily objectives and just the normal objectives, which I can't see at the moment. How do you see the normal ones? There you go. So starter objectives. Um, I want to get through as many of these as I can because you unlock... Uh, a few bits of coins and packs and things like that. We've got weekly objectives. Um, and I really do, although I love career mode, I really do want to start playing Ultimate Team a bit more. Um, so hopefully you guys are excited for it. I've played Squad Battles a little bit on my PC version. And I found that Legendary was about right for me. Um, there were some games where I got batter absolutely battered um, and went down to world class. But then I found it a bit too easy. So I don't know what difficulty I'm going to end up going on. I might start out on world class and see what it feels like on PS4. Um, but again, it, it really depends on the squad. I didn't have a good squad at all. I had bronze players. And I was playing on legendary. So yeah, who knows? We're going to just go ahead and start here with some gold packs. I might as well open up those packs now. We have, uh, is it 10? We've got 10 of these packs. It's probably best I go with these. 20 golds with 7 rares. What's the other one? Uh, 12 items, 10 gold, 3 rares. I mean, the beauty is I, I, I will get contracts, fitness cards, and all of that good stuff in this one. So we've got 4 hours to open these. Can I do it in time? But here we go, guys. This is my first pack opening on FIFA 18. What are we going to get to kick things off? We get Mares. Oh, man. I thought it was going to be Mares. That's harsh. That is so harsh. Mares would have been brilliant. Who else do we get in the pack? Let's have a look. Feguli. We get Baumgartlinger. Very decent player. We get Long. Lindelof. Okay, we've got a few um, BPL players there. We get a bunch of contracts. A fitness card. That's good. And, oh, we get coins as well. Lovely. I will take that. Wasn't the best start, to be fair. But do you know what? I've got 10 of these to go through. Can I afford it? Yeah, I think I can. So we'll be absolutely fine. We'll have 3,000 3, FIFA points on this. That's absolutely nothing. We get England, Cam, Deli Ali. Is that a walkout? What? Well, where's his wave? He comes out and waves. I was at the capture event and he stepped out and waved at me. Why are you not doing it? But to be fair, guys, what a pack that is. We get Deli Ali, we get Torres, Dalbert, Coziello. Okay, now this, this is a better pack. We get right mid to right wing. We get another thousand coins. What? A, a draft token? <laughs> that never happens. Let's see if we can get lucky once again. Deli Ali, our best player so far. What's it going to be? Oh, a non-rare. Christiuk. Kritsyuk. Let's just hope this one's better, because if I have packs like that, I'm not going to get very far with my first squad. Okay, it's a rare. That's a good start. 
And, well, it's not going to be a walkout because you get those things falling. We get Vasquez. Okay, he's actually very decent. To be fair, though, guys, I don't think I'm going to need to spend all of my FIFA points here. Um, I thought I'd, I'd spend 12,000 very easily, but it's taking a bit of time to get through these. And we get Janssen. I believe he had a team of the team of the year last year, didn't he, in FIFA 17. He was actually very good for Leeds last year. What's it going to be this time? What's it going to be? Non-rare. Yes, get in there. Three packs to go, just three. And I'm hoping these three are going to be good ones because I really do not have a good team right now. Maybe I am going to have to go into the market and buy some players. And we get Muriel. Okay, that isn't too bad. Muriel's good. And again, it's another Spanish League player. It feels like we're going down that route then, aren't we? Moving into our penultimate pack, what are we going to get? It needs to be better than Deli Ali, otherwise I am going to feel pretty underwhelmed with these 10 packs we've had. We get a German, left wing, Sane. Oh my god, do I sell him or do I keep him? No, no, I've got to keep him. Sane is one of the players I really, really want. So I am absolutely over the moon with that. We get Telemans as well. And now for our last one, we have 9,000 FIFA points left. So I've barely spent any. Oh, I just skipped it accidentally. What's it going to be though? And we get Buffal. Okay, another Premier League winger. Should I spend more? I think it, it probably is worthwhile, isn't it? Just just, just spending the FIFA points. Should I, should I go halfway? Should I go down to 6,000? We get a rare player, a rare gold, German, centre-back. Oh, it's Bender. No, it's Jonathan Tarr. I thought it was going to be Bender, but it's not. It's Jonathan Tarr. Very decent player, though. 72 pace, young German centre-back. So that's definitely going to be good. And the rest is crap. Come on, then. Come on, then. Oh, it's rare again. That was quite a big flair. Nigeria, goalkeeper, and Yamer. Okay. I mean, it could be worse. At least we've got a goalkeeper now that is relatively high rated. And nothing else. What a surprise. I think by this point, there's no point showing you every single pack. So I think from now on, I'm only going to show you the packs that are actually good. This could be a good one. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's Theo Walcott. He could be really good. I almost said Oxlade Chamberlain. Oh, I'm still so upset he left. But there you go. Theo Walcott. That is a nice pack. So we've got Sane and Walcott. We also get Denis Suarez. That's a pretty good pack. English. Right back. Oh, Klein. Very good. Once again, a very good player. We've got a nice little BPL team coming together now. Klein is actually worth quite a bit. I believe he's 15,000 coins, maybe more. Stecklenburg as well. Could be decent. Oh, hello. Oh, man, I thought it was Bernardo Silva. Damn you, Hanani. Oh. Oh, it's Matip. Well, to be fair, it could be a lot worse. Matip is still a great player to have. I think he's six foot five. Mm, not bad, but another Premier League player at least. Oh, Butland. Ah, oh, it's Pickford. <laughs> I thought I got Butland for a second, but Pickford, that's pretty good. He's going to be our goalkeeper for sure at this rate. And it's going to be Slimani. We've got our striker for now. I mean, I don't think I've had a Premier League striker, so I'm pretty pleased with that. Slimani, not too bad. And here we go. Our last pack. This is it. This is going to be my last chance to get some really good players in packs, and then I'm going to have to dive into the market if I need to get some specific players. No way. No way. Oh, we get Draxler. Oh, scheisse. Oh, my God. I thought it was Ozil. I thought it was Ozil before the left wing popped up. Damn, man. Draxler is not bad. Don't get me wrong, but he's not really what I'm looking for, is he? Um, so that is going to be it. That is all our packs done. So we have 117 players, and these are the best ones we've got. Deli Ali, Draxler, Matip, Vasquez, Sane. I think he's probably the best pool we got, actually. Uh, Jonathan Tarr, Klein, Slimani, and Yamer, Schweinsteiger. I mean, in general, we've got some good players, but they're not they're not going to be good enough. So we are going to have to jump into the market and buy some players in the next episode. But for now, let's put together the best team we can using the players we have packed. So do I go with the 4-3-2-1? I think I'm going to give it a go. First, I'm going to add a manager. I know I got Pochettino, so he is a Premier League manager. Perfect. One of the best managers in the league, if you ask me. Let's start filling out this squad. Deli Ali goes in. Just going to bring in all of the best BPL players I have. And Klein's definitely going in. Slimani will definitely have to go in. We didn't get too many. Oh, we got Long. I might go with Long up front, actually. We got a midfielder. Uh, Pickford in goal. Yeah, I think Long, 
might be decent. We got Lindelof there. Um, proper. I didn't know he signed in the Premier League. Interesting. We got some decent non-rare ones, but nothing special really. What I need to do is maybe go on the market and buy a player in each position that I don't have. And try and, you know, at least get a full rare gold team before we get into the next episode. So let's let's put these players in the right position. We're going to go with Slimani up top for now. And then, of course, on the left, we're going to go with Sane. That's not Sane. Where are you? There he is. It's so laggy, man. I'm used to the PC menus. They're so much faster. Uh, on the right, obviously, we're going to go with Theo Walcott with that 91 pace. Uh, right back is going to be Klein. And then we're going to go with Matip. On the right side, I'm going to put Deli Ali. I think probably left side Cam. And I'm going to go with Ki Sung Young in the middle. To be fair, that's that's not too bad. We've then got Proper. He's a proper good midfielder. Jesus, Matt, shut up. Lindelof there, and we do not have a left back. In goal, I think it's clear we're going to go with Pickford, really, isn't it? So that's pretty much the best team we can put together for now. I'm going to go ahead and get a midfielder and a left back. And, well, I need to get a few reserve players because I, I don't have enough to fill out the entire squad, really. So left back, centre mid, and then we'll be good to go. So I think I'm going to go with Kolasinac. Um, I don't know how much he's going to be. 2,000. Let's see if we can get him quite cheap. Now, you might be thinking I'm getting him just because he's an Arsenal player. It's not true. He's actually, I think he's the eighth or it might be ninth strongest player in Ultimate Team this year. So extremely good and it looks like we can get him for 1400 here but he's been used. I like to buy fresh players so I think 1600, well 1500 that's as good as it's going to get. Kolasinac welcome to the team and look at that we've completed the task. The next player I'm going to go for is Pereira. I think this guy could be one of the most underrated players in Ultimate Team this year. He's selling relatively cheap as well look at that. Not even that expensive, around 3,500. So we'll go ahead and pick him up. He's my most expensive purchase so far, but he's a player that I will use a lot. He's got a bit of everything, you know. So I think my idea here is to re replace Proper. I think we'll go ahead and put Pereira on the right and we'll send Proper to the club. We'll put him on the bench for now, but very, very happy with the team now. That That is all I needed to do, just buy one or two players. They go straight in the team. And, yeah, we can bring Proper onto the reserves here. Oops, actually, I could swap him out for a... I don't need Boric, do I? Or is he better than... Yeah, he's better than Stecklenburg. So we're going to go ahead and we'll just quick sell Stecklenburg. We don't need you, sir. And then we can go ahead and add in Proper. So that's how the team is looking right now. Let me know your thoughts down below. This is probably what I'm going to use to start off things. Even though I've got around 16,000 coins left... I don't want to spend it. What I want to do is save up for a proper striker. I want to get someone like Lukaku in there or Lacazette. You know, someone really expensive. So I'm going to be saving up for a little bit. It might be I need to do squad battles for a full week and get the rewards. And then hopefully I will get some good players. But for now, I'm pretty happy with this squad. I could probably get a centre-back. That might help out. Lindelof doesn't look too brilliant. Although, nah, he's, he's all right. I might just give him a go. Um, but yeah, for now, thank you so much for watching the first episode of my squad battle series. I don't even know what I'm going to call it yet. Um, but episode two will be out in a couple of days. I plan on doing maybe one or one, two or three episodes per week because most of the time I'm just going to play the games, record them and then show you the highlights because obviously I don't want to show you 20 games a week, something stupid like that. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time.